My name is Gary Laird. I'm the chief of the Pendel Fire Company. We're located in Bucks County, Pennsylvania. Uh, we're here today in Appleton, Wisconsin at Pierce Manufacturing, just outside of the Blue Room. Uh, final inspection on our Pierce uh, Ascendant 100 foot mid mount ladder tower. Um, so I'm just going to walk you around and show you some things that we did on the truck. Um, truck's on an Arrow XT chassis, um, cabin chassis. Uh, we, we went with barrier doors, we went with the additional step uh, that'll help people get in and out of the truck um, a little bit safer. On the inside of the truck, um, we opted to do uh, a metal roof lining as opposed to a canvas. <clears throat> Set the truck up for uh, seating for six. We went with uh, vinyl seats for easier wipe down. The, the back part of the truck, we did something a, a little different. We went with uh, brushed stainless steel and we did this compartment here for a uh, water extinguisher. We're gonna mount hooks on this and then we carried that brushed stainless across the back of the cab um, instead of having diamond plate back there or having it painted. The pump panel area, uh, truck has 300 gallons of water. We want a 2,000 gallon a minute, two stage pump. It's gonna have two pre-connected lines on it. We opted to put the discharge, uh, one on the driver's side, one on the officer's side for the cross lays. And then we ended up utilizing the, the additional space to put a six foot uh, straight ladder and a 10 foot Fresno ladder. Uh, as we walk back along the truck, we did a little homage to one of our old trucks. Um, we went with a silver aerial paint color um, and then added the red just to break it up a little bit. This compartment will be our engineer's compartment. Um, so there's a couple spaces there for some pony hose and then a slide out tool board for fittings and adapters. We carried the brushed stainless steel um, throughout the truck. So the interior of the compartment doors is marked with that as well. Single cylinder storage. <clears throat> this is gonna be for the driver's pack. So we left it wide open. And then one of the things that we're able to work with the Pierce engineers to do um, is we split this, which is traditionally an 84 inch compartment on this truck. We end up splitting this compartment. Uh, this is gonna become the driver's compartment for his gear. It also has the uh, junction box and the generator uh, meter in it. And then we got a second compartment out of that single compartment um, and we worked with the engineers again. We were able to put this special compartment in here for a 17 foot little giant. Um, it, it cuts into the hose bed a little bit, but it was a good use of space for us. Um, this compartment, all the compartments, we went with a door slide on the bottom of the compartment to make it easier to, to pull items out. Um, this compartment's intended to have fans and saws in it. So we work with the engineers at Pierce again, um, and we were able to, to develop a compartment here. Um, it goes along with the compartments on the side and the driver's side that we split that 84 inch compartment, but it basically mirrors the hose compartment um, on the driver's side. So we have a nine foot attic ladder in there and then space for some pike poles. In the uh, Ladder compartment, ladder tunnel storage area, I an AKW hydraulic generator from Harrison. And then again, working with the engineers and uh, crunching some numbers, uh, we were able to do um, 235s, 228s, a 24 and a 20 foot roof ladder back here, all duo safety. Um, so we're really excited about that. Gives us some more uh, versatility on the fire ground.
On this truck, we opted to put saw boxes on the aero device, so we have one on the left-hand side, one on the right-hand side. The other decision that we made while we were uh, building this truck is we went with a single monitor from the bucket, manual operated so that the farmer have control of it, and we went with one two and a half inch discharge um, for those times where that may be necessary. And then in this compartment, we work with the engineers again. Um, we put the generator on the truck. We wanted to have a cord reel. So working with the engineers at Pierce, we we're able to find a way to put the cord reel up in the, where the hose bed is on this truck and then blister through the compartment um, to save us compartmentation space and still make good use of the truck. Uh, the other thing that we uh, worked with the engineers on um, that's new was we asked the engineers if they could provide us with a rope tie-off point on the turntable of the aerial device. Um, so Pierce came up with this solution. It's got a thousand pound rated load. There's one on either side of the turntable. Um, and one more small compartment here. A lot of times this spot of this compartment has the uh, cab lift controls in it. So again, we had a discussion with the engineers and we we're able to move them out of that compartment and hide them behind the pump panel. Still gives you good access, but then you don't have to move anything out of your compartment to get to it. Um, so we mirrored the driver's side and the officer's side. So we have that brushed stainless steel for hooks here and another can on this side. And then we'll open this door. We also had the engineers cut out underneath the forward facing seats, a uh, spot for storage. Um, in the officer seat, we again, working with the engineers, we were able to get this seat uh, back about three inches from its standard position to create more leg room for the officer. One of the other things we did on this truck was we put the Stokes basket on the cab um, and we had the engineers push it far enough on the cab not to affect our over the cab operations with the bucket. Um, traditionally uh, on this style truck, it's on the main. Um, so we opted to move it onto the cab roof. We thought it was a little bit more user friendly for the guys if we have to go into that type of operation. So we went with a wheel and lighting package um, for emergency lights. We have the road array. The mounts are here for the Mars lights. Uh, they're just not in yet. And then for scene lighting, we went with the FireTech BG2 setup. So front brow light, 72 inches, and then going down the side of the truck. On the side of the truck, we did a 34 inch bar on the cab. And then on both sides of the body, there's two 34 inch bars uh, for scene lighting. And then on the back of the truck, we wanted the BG2 bar, um, so it can be a scene light or it can be a directional. So right now I have it in the directional mode so you can see it, um, but it's a 34 inch bar again. I want to thank the uh, residents of the community um, that support us for uh, us being able to get this truck. Uh, it's replacing a 22 year old truck. Um, it's going to provide us with more versatility, has some more safety options to keep the firemen safe. Um, so we're really excited that we're going to get to bring this home. Along with that, I want to thank the town council and the mayor from Pendell Borough and the supervisors and the township manager of Middletown Township. Again, without your support, um, we can't do what we need to do. Um, and then finally, I want to thank the truck committee that's here with me in Appleton um, and the members and the officers of uh, Pendell Fire Company for what you do uh, every day. I really appreciate it.